guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel today. My owl crate has finally come. It is May 1st. And it is it was just delivered not even five seconds ago. And so I'm going to go ahead and unbox it because I'm ready for it. And I'm going to try to edit it and upload it tonight and have it up by tomorrow. I just jinxed myself because it ain't going to happen now. But anyways, if you don't know what owl crate is, it is a YA subscription box. I pay $34.99 a month for it, and that is with my 10% discount for being a homeschool mom. Uh, if you are a homeschool teacher or librarian, send your credentials to the Alcrate support staff and they will give you 10% off each box during your subscription. And so, this is the April box. It was delayed due to COVID-19, the coronavirus, and they shipped late. Um, I think they shipped out the international boxes first and then sent out the North America boxes last. And I think they're going to do the same thing this month that they did uh, at the uh, beginning of this week, which was end of April and it's beginning of May. So that makes sense. Um, but yeah, this thing was Full Moon Circle. So let's just open it. And it's really heavy, so it's all the worms. But hmm, here's the card Full Moon Magic, not Full Moon Circle. So here's the spoiler. The card is freaking beautiful. And I'm not a big fan of the moon because full moon. I'm not a big fan of full moons because during full moons, they shine into my window and light up my whole room, and I can't sleep. I need absolute darkness. Anyways, enough about moi. Let's get into the box. And so I'm just gonna pull things out, pulling out a little bag and getting worms everywhere. So hold on. And my cat is sleeping right here. Say hi, Lena. Okay. <laughs> You said, okay, just stretch all out. Did you see this cat? Right. Okay. Because I know y'all are going to pay more attention to her than... Okay, so let's just get into the bag. Are you done? Okay. The bag says, a dreamer is one who can only find his way by moonlight. And this cute little burlap bag. So let's open it. I don't know what it is. It's a puzzle? Puzzle pieces? Or. Ooh. What? Oh, I don't want to. Oh, it's a banner! Oh, it with the moon phases. That's cool. I know I'm holding them wrong, but that's cool. Um. I know who's going to want this. Aerie, because she's obsessed with the moon and space. So that is really cool. Let's see what that is from. Inside a canvas pouch featuring a dreamy quote from Oscar Wilde. You'll find a bamboo moon phase banner to add some celestial vibes to your wall decor. Designed by Alcrate team member Paperback Bones. That is freaking beautiful. I love it. And yeah, I don't know where I'm going to put it. Let me go ahead and show you the this month's pen. It's just the owl with the moon phases over here. So I'm using my old phone. My old phone so it's not going to uh, focus. But it is really pretty. Next thing. Oh, is this a tote bag? If it is, it's really pretty. Well, back to the tote bags. It's a tote bag. And it says, The moon is a loyal companion. And it has moon design with like an olive branch. It's really pretty. But I have enough tote bags. And I think a couple years ago, or last year when it was my first year being a subscriber, Alcrate ran tote bags down. So, it's beautiful, but I don't need another one. So, it may go to my kids. It may 
go into my husband's car and never be seen again or as a grocery bag. Okay, so. Ah, we got a notebook and it says, with freedom, books, flowers, and the moon, who could not be happy? Oscar Wilde. And another uh, moon, mountain, flowers. And it's just a uh, notebook, a notepad. And it is designed. Oh, the uh, tote bag is Shatter Me inspired by Unlucky Design. Uh, whether you use to jot down favorite quotes from your current read or track endless to be read list or grocery list. Notebook featuring Oscar Wilde quote and lovely artwork from Kim Becker Design. So Kim Becker. Really pretty. And will come in handy. So next thing, next thing is I think the yeah Owl Crate exclusive 300 piece Mooney puzzle. Mooney, that's it's Lupin. Have a cozy night in and steer clear of werewolves with this 300 piece Mooney jigsaw puzzle with artwork by Atelier Art at Alien Art. I'll create exclusive. Uh, oh, I will be doing this one. Because there's Remus Lupin. Professor Lupin. Even though that's not how I picture Professor Lupin in his office. But eh, I love it. It's Harry Potter. So, let's see. Uh, we solemnly swear that you'll have fun piecing together our 300 piece jigsaw puzzle. Once assembled, you'll see the gorgeously illustrated artwork that at Alien Art created to celebrate the defense against the Dark Arts Professor. We're all a bit moony over. <laughs> I like. When um, I read the spoiler that they were going to put a puzzle in, I was a little uh, disheartened because I have yet to do the puzzle that they included a few boxes ago. I'm not really a big puzzle person. I don't sit down and do anything. I read and I work and I watch barely any TV. If it's not with my kids, I don't watch it at all. But I have a feeling that we're going to be doing this. Tell them it's Harry Potter and they'll work on it. Um, the question is, who's going to fight over it to have it glued together and put it in their room? Okay, let's see what else. It's in the box. Ooh. I like the little owl crate. Design with the moons. Ooh, it's a bracelet. And I was just looking at a bracelet just like this. And it's rose gold, my favorite. And it's just a crescent moon. And a, uh, the end, which looks like a full moon. But I'm in love. I was looking at something like this because, um, and it has a crescent moon on it with a palm tree. My state, uh, our flag is a navy blue background with a white palm tree and a crescent moon above the palm tree. And I was going to get a bracelet that looks just like this. It has the crescent moon, but right here it has a palm tree. And <laughs> I don't know if I should get that bracelet now or not because this one's just pretty. But how do you wear it? That's the question. Do you put it on the inside of your wrist or like this? But I like it. I'm going to wear it for the rest of the video. Yeah, how do you wear it? Because this way I don't feel right, but then if you hold it like this, then it's just going to look bland right here. I don't know. Anyways, I'll figure it out. However way it's comfortable. It's comfortable like this, but I can't see it unless I hold my arm up and show you. So beautiful and then let's see who designed it wear a bit of subtle lunar love on your wrist with our winter wood have not read the book yet but I freaked out over the exclusive edition when I got it because it's all white and blue and silver and foiled and it's just plain beautiful 
um, inspired crescent moon bracelet designed by Team Alcrate. Very pretty. So, let's go to the next thing. Um, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So, all that's left now is the book. And the book is a March release, which I know a couple of people were, uh, disappointed in the Instagram comments when they uh, announced the theme because they automatically knew what book was going to be in the box when they said it was going to be a March release instead of an April release and so I'm not mad of course I'm not mad but this book wasn't on my radar and I wasn't really uh, interested but now now but the book is Bone Crier's Moon. Let me take it out of the plastic. So I want y'all to see. It's beautiful, but it's not my favorite color. Uh, I like white gold and I like rose gold, but I don't like yellow gold. But I can get over it. <laughs> And it's, it's gold um, foil. It's a gilded, gold gilded edging like last month's book. They did um, the Kingdom of Back last month or back in March and it was silver foil. And this is more like a, uh, a dusty gold. It's not really shiny but it's coming off kind of dirty in the sun and it's not sparkly but yeah and the um, cover it looks why are you doing this work and the cover the back looks more vibrant and making these two pop more I'm working that's why I'm looking at my computer but yeah I'm gonna have to read the a magazine to see what was different and it is signed by the author which is Catherine Purdy and let's see the uh, it's just plain gray with uh, gold wording so eh, not really different so, I'm not going to read the synopsis because I don't want to be spoiled. Well, we, we'll have to make our own sacrifices one day and it will be easier if we don't grow attached to those des destined to die. Hmm. So, Bone Crier's Moon by Catherine Purdy. It was a March release and we're getting it in our April 2020 box. Um, I get spoilers from book alley over on instagram so follow her if you want to know what the books what her um guesses for books and all of the book boxes are going to be she's always right always and i have found myself like going to her uh account every time alcrate announces their theme before um, the renewal date and I'm, I'm kind of enjoying having that uh, option uh, figure out the book and if I don't want it then I can cancel or pause I don't think Alcrate lets you pause your subscription but hmm. I may do that in the future but yeah this is really pretty and so let's go into the magazine because I don't know what next month is here's the magazine it's still the same spoiler art it's got an interview with Catherine Purdy oh and it's got the switches which I like the Alcrate edition more than the regular cover the Alcrate edition is a blue background whereas the regular was a gray and the characters are more brought up they're closer 
or they're bigger and um, the regular was tinier can you tell the difference these ones are bigger and they're tiny um, and the author name is at the bottom instead of the top so I like the Alcrate better than the regular I think that was um, they say don't judge a book by its cover but I do because that's advertising and so the reason I think I wasn't interested in the book before we got it is because the cover is just so bland whereas the Alcrate is very vibrant and I am attracted to bright colors bright colors get me and I wear black all the time so black is my favorite color but I'm attracted to colors bright colors um there's a word search and if you like bone criers moon read the bone witch fallen rain which I have um in surfing and dove it's got an interview with the artist who did the tote bag design unlucky designs it's got the April photo challenge and it's got the playlist mischief and moonlight on Spotify and other releases that come out this are in April that are already out ruthless gods the deck of omens don't call the wolf seven endless forest and the silence of bones which I want to read and yeah so now the theme for next month is Rebels with the Cause. And the spoiler is every May box will include a graphic novel from Omnipress. Two books in one box. So we're getting a book and a graphic novel next month. So I'm excited. And I think I've already looked at Book Alley and seen her prediction, but I forgot. No, I know what it is. And I'm excited because it was one of my most anticipated books of the year. But I need to do part two of that video. I may do it on Sunday when my husband is at work. Everything out of this box has to be um, the bracelet. It's, I like the bracelet and the... Um, the moon phase banner my least favorite has to be the tote bag even though it is freaking beautiful I'm just not going to use it I need to find a way to turn my tote bags into pillowcases because I saw a youtuber a couple of years ago she said that she had way too many tote bags and she was tired of getting them in book boxes and so she found a way to turn her tote bags into pillowcases so free pillowcases yes um yeah so, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Comment down below, have you gotten this box? What was your favorite thing? I'm freaking obsessed with this. And I'll see you in my next video.